Hey there y'all, Cowboy 2196. Another, it's not really a gun review because I kind of built this one. But I want to show y'all my AR9 uh, pistol. Make sure it's clear. All clear, no mag, mag's right here. Mag is loaded, but it's not a gun. Alright, so this is a KE lower, and I bought the upper off one of my friends, so I'm assuming, yeah, I don't really want to assume what it is because it has no branding on it, so I don't know. But anyways, so all all, this gun costed me about almost 800 bucks, so this was not a inexpensive build. This is one of my more fancier builds, but uh... So I just got a lot of stuff in for it today and put it on. Now y'all, all you AR guys are probably looking at me with that flashlight and this kind of was like, uh, no. But it's just something until I get something better. Cause I'll just wait for a chemo thing to come in that I like. But anyways, I'm gonna say flashlight works pretty good. I'm say I like it, it's good enough for the house, but not much for anything else. It doesn't have a lot of range, it's super bright. Not all range. Got an Amazon red dot on there, which I got the sixteen dollar one just for shits and giggles because I usually use you know iron sights anyways. But I want to try what everybody's been talking about with the red dot, and this thing is amazing. I haven't got to zeroed in yet, but I love it. Let's see here if I get to show y'all. Oh, oh, there it is. So it has five different brightness settings and two different colors and four different reticles. Run red kills the standard little little dot thing. Then you get this uh, circle dot, circle with a dot in the middle. Then you get this regular crosshairs, and then a combination of circle dot and crosshairs. That's what I usually put it on. Then I bought these ten dollar flip up sights, which I actually like a lot more than what the hell? Oh. There it is. Turn this off. Say battery. I actually love these iron sights. Let's see here. There we go. So I thought they were going to be kind of shitty. I accidentally ended up buying two pairs. And what's weird is one side out of each box didn't work. Sort of. It worked fine. They were really hard to flip up like that. Like I had to use both hands to be able to, you know, make it actually go down. I love the iron sight, the, these new iron sights on it. I got the extended charging handle since I like to just put your shoulder a little bit. You know, I know you're not supposed to do that. I try not to do it all the time. But this thing's got one really nice feature that I admit I went a little overboard with. Some of y'all might have already seen it now, but so this is an Anderson nickel plated trigger. Or yeah, it's just a nickel trigger. Can never say I love this gun. I still get used to it. I'm not used to having something this small because it has an 11 inch barrel plus a compensator at the end of it, which makes it look really tactical. Because you know me, this is well. Still new to YouTube, but. So I guess another one. I like pretending to be tacky cool. Let's back in here. Mm. Eh. Almost. Eh, eh. You don't gotta put it back in, but hips. There we go. Now one thing I did I have been trying to get used to is this damn safety. It's not the easiest safety in the world. It's easy to put on fire, which is all that really matters, but hitting the safety is kind of a bitch. And yes, for y'all that did notice, as I did put some blue in there to match my uh, security. So I think it's a good matchup. Say, so I've probably only shot about 100 rounds through right now. So I'm Waiting to get another brace for it. Just for shits and giggles. This brace works fine. I like this brace. Just, I want something different. Everybody has this. As the 
Yeah, the 11 inch, uh, point out here, 11 inch key mode with the container rail top, which it's been really sturdy. Now, it does have just a tiny bit of play, see if y'all could listen to this. And if you're buying an AR off somebody, this is not good. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can make it wiggle. I'm hoping y'all could hear that, but I don't really know. There's a little bit of giveaway. Not a whole lot. You know, it's fine for me because I'm gonna, you know, it's gonna be fixed in a week. So I'm not really all that worried about it. But if you're buying a new AR-15 off a buddy or off some other motherfucker from a pawn shop or something like that, somebody built, uh, that's a new new. I'd just save your money and get something else if it's you know the only option you got. Now, if you are adept with AR routines, then I shouldn't tell you that you could fix these things. But sometimes it's just shitty people, people putting shitty parts together. Usually, not all the time. Sometimes it just happens to be just a little bit screwy. Say, unfortunately, okay, this is a Glock mag fed. So, I mean, it fits a Glock mag. So, uh, where's the Glock mag? So this is a Glock mag. As you see, it fits perfectly. Now, believe it or not, extended Glock mags are kind of hard to find in my area right now. I'm trying not to or offline, trying to use one of the local gun shops. For the sheer fact, I like supporting them. I don't mind paying an extra couple bucks and waiting a little while. But, from what I've seen, this thing should be able to take any type of Glock mag that I can find. Aside from one that my local one of my local gun shops actually has, for some reason it won't ram into mine. Don't know why. I tried, we couldn't figure it out. We tried their mags, like you know, their personal mags, all fit fine, no, no issues. But that one, I don't remember the brand, some Chinese brand, but it would not fit for the life of it. But anyways, main reason for okay, this one's gonna be a little bit of a preference thing because this isn't a nine millimeter. <laughs> Shoots these little suckers. Now everybody's gonna probably not like this too much because you know some people don't like pistol caliber carbines. I love them. For sure, fact, cheap to shoot, great for home defense if you look with the right ammo. Like I'm gonna buy some, uh, probably some more Hornady's like why I carry my uh, carry pistol. I think what the hell this thing was. I call it a shotgun or something. Anyway. Well, I'll probably buy some more of those because I've seen a lot of the ballistics on it. Let's see here. So, great ammo. I mean, any of your gun usually has trouble with hollow points, it'll do great. I got the critical defenses in that. Yeah, I don't think it's the. Yes, yeah, that one's the defenses, the other one's the duties. Okay, so yeah. Actually, I might get the duties. And I'm also get some Lehigh uh, all penetrator rounds or. Max penetrator rounds, yeah. You want to look like old screwdriver at the end? I want to try some of those to this thing. So this is, even though I have a home defense shotgun, you know, six rounds, you know, five plus one in the chamber, blah, 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 which I might actually do that review on that here in a minute because I got it right next to me, but uh, this is more of a, you know, I live in an apartment right now. It's still, you know, easy to get to, easy to deploy, easy to start firing really quickly plus it's gonna be more precise now if I get some penetrators I will not be using that for my home defense mag uh, that will just be for shit hit the fan mag or mag zit say the I would definitely get like a hollow point or you know like something like critical defense for home defense for the sheer fact I have never crossed the hall I actually kind of like them and if I shoot one dude and miss, or miss them Come through my door, so you go straight through either him or through the wall or my door and keep going a good bit. If you ever seen ballistics or penetration videos on those, they're insane. They fly through anything. So that's why I have yet to decide to do that here. One second, I try something. Mm -hmm. Anyways, but 
pistol caliber carbines are also just great all around guns. The sheer fact that they will still hurt you. If you don't like want to get shot by a pistol, then you probably don't want to get shot by one of these. It's going a lot faster. Focus. There he goes. Hi. But, uh, let's see, where was it going with that? Oh, yeah. So, pistol caliber carbines. They are great. They're fun to shoot, cheap to shoot. Pretty reliable, especially nowadays. Back in the day, not so much. But nowadays they're extremely reliable, extremely fun to shoot, low recoil. I mean, the 5.56 didn't have hardly any recoil, anyways. But this, eh, I'd say it's about the same. But this is for sure. Fact, I know your feels a little heavier. But it's super fun to shoot, super easy to shoot, super small. You know, say I'm a small dude, so this gun looks kind of big. So, so I'm only like 5.10. So. Well, it's an amazing gun. I just, I just love it to death. I can't wait to do a little bit more to it. I'm not going to do a whole lot more. Probably get a different brace, you know, a sling, and uh, wait for my foregrip to come in, a foregrip hand stop. So, yeah, y'all will probably see that at some point. And I think that's about all I'm really going to do with this gun. I mean, I'm obviously not going to put a scope on it, so. There it goes. And this is one of the few ones that the trigger is amazing on. A lot of 9mm ARs or AR9s, whatever you want to call them, the trigger sucks. Like, they're gritty, they're long, they're heavy. This one is crisp. There's a nap of it. This feels so good. Ah, oh, feels almost good as one of my other ARs. But yeah, if you ever want to get an AR9, I highly recommend doing it, but I also recommend. If you're gonna do it, don't get the cheap knockoff crappy AR nines. Get a real, you know, either make your own after you know what you're doing, or go to like a really good reputable gun shop that knows what they're doing. Ask them questions or ask them if they build you one, stuff like that. It's always a good idea for that. And like, if you ever have issues, take it to the gun shop first. And and after you're done building the gun, you every now and again, if you if you're not sure about it, take it to a gun shop. They'll you know, most of the time they will know, especially on AR platforms. It's so common nowadays. Uh, if you don't want an AR type, just for the sheer fact you want something smaller, because the buffer tube kind of screws you. I don't really mind it though. It's kind of perfect, perfect for me. But uh, there's always like the CZ Scorpions. There's the uh, like knockoff Uzis. I think, yeah, Uzi, yeah. Uzi. Uh, you know, you get like knockoff in the 40s if you wanted to, grease guns, knockoff grease guns. And there's a shit ton of, you know, semi automatic 9mm carbines or, gun, you know, rifles, whatever you want to call them. There's a shit ton out there, and there's a lot of really good looking ones. I'm waiting on an FNP90 to be chambered in 9mm. I know it won't hold as many rounds, but I don't give a shit. I love the P90 platform. I was really, 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 really want one. About turning a Ruger 1022 into one. This close. Uh, don't listen to your family sometimes about guns because they just think you're crazy. And it's okay. You probably are crazy. That's okay. As long as you don't hurt nobody. But this is me signing off for now. I'm about to do a review on my shotgun, my actual home defense gun. I'll just go ahead and sign off and start that video. Thank you. By the way, give me recommendations of what I need to be doing. Like, I'm just bored.